Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the Time Traveller badge. This activity will be from the Wear It section in the future. And we're going to be looking at the activity of designing your own future Promise badge. This activity ties in with Promise activities for any age group and allows girls to explore their creativity while they gain an understanding of what has influenced the, the Promise badge's design throughout our history. Whether you're meeting virtually, distanced or in a normal meeting, it can be useful to break down the promise into its clauses to see what girls relate to in guiding and everyday life. This will also help them think of symbols that they can use for the activity. You can also have a look through the resource pack that comes with this badge to see how heraldry can influence badge design by seeing what symbols and colours are relevant to you and help to make a memorable badge. In a recent Zoom meeting, where my rangers joined with guides, they looked at some of the old badges. Here are a couple of them. And this one is one that I remember as a young member, which was from the standardisation of promise badges in 1994. And then the one that we'll all know and love is the classic design here, which was introduced in 2002. Many people will know the promise badge as the trefoil. From its original design, it has three leaves to represent the main three elements of guiding – beliefs, national loyalty and service. It also has a star, which has the five points, but ten if you include the middle five, which represents the ten guide laws from the original time that it was made. Although you'll know that this is now six guide laws. It also has two G's, which represent the promise and the guide law. Using this information, girls can understand how and why the promise was designed as a trefoil. But how would your girls design it? Should it be reflecting the past of guiding and its history? Or could it use new symbols to represent what girls feel are important to them today? If you're meeting virtually, you could use a whiteboard function so that girls can add their own ideas onto a template like this. You can see that from my meeting, guides really thought that the trefoil should remain, but they also thought that they should add in new symbols, such as trees and friendship. And they also added words and symbols that they thought were part of their guiding ethos. After making one together, the girls were then able to draw their own out and show the group and talk about why they've made it this way. If you're meeting distanced in person, you can share these same questions and see what answers you get. People may have different ideas for their symbols or ethos. So why not raid the craft box and see if you can make a badge that's really colourful or 3D even. My rangers managed to use embroidery to sew their own badges and I've included instructions of this in the resource pack. So hopefully you now feel inspired to give this a go with your unit and help girls to learn about the Promise Badge's history. Maybe one of them will go on to influence the badge design in the future. Who knows?